this is so what is going on youtube this is delta back with another call of duty mobile video and again i'm sorry for not posting in a while i do have exams if you didn't already know from previous from the previous video but today we are going to be talking about the icr1 and going a bit in depth i won't go as in depth as uh other gun review videos because i just don't think it's worth it i want to cover the more important topics so first off let's start with the stats comparison First of all, we have damage with a base of 45, and it is actually tied with the M4, uh, yeah, M4 for last place. Now we have the fire rate, which is a base of 57, and it is sixth place out of all the ARs. We have accuracy, which is a base accuracy of 76, and if you didn't know, it dethrones the M4 for the king of accuracy. It has the most accuracy out of all the assault rifles. We have a base mobility of 60, and it is tied with all ARs except the ASM-10, which has a base mobility of 55. And finally, we have range, which is 48, which is a mere 6, uh, sorry, yes, 6th place base of 48. And if you didn't know, we are comparing this with all 9 regular assault rifles, not including the Man of War or the HBR, because they are premium weapons. So we have the ICR-1, the AK-117, BK-57, M4, M16, uh, ASM-10, Type-25, LK-24, and AK-47. So that was the stats comparison. All right, so here we are with the ICR class setup. And as you can see, let's start with the attachments. So for the sight, I always put the red dot sight because it is the best. And for this gun, since it actually has a, it is the top accuracy, it has the most accuracy of all of the assault rifles. So of course I did not put a foregrip. I actually switched that out for a full metal jacket just so it can uh, pierce through walls. It doesn't do more damage as you might think, but it is pretty good. We also have quick draw and extended mag just because those are one of the best attachments for assault rifles. As our side weapon, you, you can really run anything. I really don't like using the SMR, but I know it is better than, say, a knife. Maybe I might switch it out for the pistol. Uh, we also have agile, which can all obviously be replaced with lightweight or even flak jacket. Because of the low recoil, you might not even need toughness. You can go for ghost as well because it is actually a pretty good perk. And as usual, we have Dead Silence. If you're not running Dead Silence, then you have a problem. We just have the standard grenade and trophy system. Sparrow can be replaced with... Oh yeah, we have the Hive coming up. That's pretty sick. But you know, Sparrow is the best. So that was the class setup. Alright, so instead of the usual range testing and recoil and all those tests, it, it makes no sense. I want to be practical, so what I'm going to be doing is a pretty much a breakdown of all the stats and uh, what's best when to use the ICR. So let's begin. So overall, it's a great beginner gun. It's it's okay in terms of versatility. Really good for long range, although there is a drop off. Medium range, it's, it's not too crazy, but it, it's pretty good. And close range, you kind of get dominated. It get, but it, However, it does get the job done as it is an assault rifle meant for medium to long range. In terms of damage, it kind of feels lackluster compared to the, the likes of the AK-117 or the Type 25, but again, it is a trade-off for your insane accuracy. And now on to fire rate. Again, it's not as good as the AK-117 and the Type 25, but again, lower fire rate equals lower recoil, because when you have a higher fire rate and between shots is very short, which means the gun will just keep jumping up. However, it is very bad at... Uh, close range accuracy. It is absolutely amazing. You don't even need a foregrip as you saw in the, uh, the Class setup. It is absolutely crazy It is perfect for beginners because of the low recoil in terms of range the drop-off is noticed at beyond 30 meters But it's not too big of an issue because the recoil is so good that it's not like you're gonna miss your shots or anything It's very small recoil even if you're super beginner and want to slap on a foregrip. Yeah, it, I don't think it even matters It's so good at recoil now to wrap it up, I would say this is all around a great gun and it is not recommended for rank due to the low damage and fire rate. You want to run Z25 or AK117, maybe even BK57 if you can manage, but it is such a good perk. Just go if you haven't bought it, especially if you're a beginner and you want to get the ropes of this game. The ICR is the best assault rifle for you. Just hop into some pubs and try it out. Low recoil. It is perfect for beginners. So that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, then please do leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, comment down what gun you would like to see next. Share the video with your friends if you thought it was useful. And uh, other than that, uh, this is the new video format. I'm sorry if you like the old one. So if you actually want to win more games and you want a proper review of the gun, this is the way to go. Class setup and review. None, none of this BS recoil testing and ADS testing. It's just not practical. I'd rather say it from my mouth and not waste time on the videos. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this is Delta signing off, and I will see you all in the next one.